What is up guys? This is Jay here, Jay Media One, and today we are back with another product tech review. Today is a good day because today we got the iPad Mini Smart Folio. This is the official iPad case for the Mini. And I know I've talked a lot about the Mini, and I've also talked a lot about not getting a case, but using it over time and as much as I seem to be using this thing, I decided that a case would be a good idea. And so I wanted to try the best first. I did have a cheap case on there, a cheap little plastic case. The button cutouts just were not working for me. So I had to go with something a little bit more robust. And I thought this would be a good idea. So here we are. And <clears throat> the iPad mini smart folio just comes in this little box here. Just this little white box, which is nice. And it's got a little tab up top here. So I think if we pull hard enough on that tab, we can get it to slide out there just like that. Once we slide it out, nothing much to it. I went with white. You can get white, you can get orange, you can get a bunch of different colors with this. But I decided to go with white just because I think white looks super clean. I am a big fan of orange, but I like the clean look. So we just pop it out of the box. Uh, nothing else inside the box. Wouldn't expect there to be with this. <clears throat> so we're going to get rid of that. Yeah, inside of here, we got the foam protective cover. And that's it. Just a little cover. Protecting. This is the Mini. This is the new one. This is the, uh, the redesign. And it's got the all-new design with the bezels, which we've talked about. If you guys haven't seen the iPad Mini review yet, make sure you check it out. I will leave a link above for that. And so it's got the little cutout here for the camera on the back. So we just slide it in there just like that. And it also has a little slot for the flash. And we just put it back together. And man, that that is just so nice how that fits. And that's why it's just always nice to get Apple products because they're just built for it, right? No one else is going to build a product just as quite as good as Apple can for their own products. And so this lets you fold it back here. And then you could set it up as a stand, just like that. You can also flip it around and use it as a stand, like that. And so that's all it really takes. The magnets on the back are pretty strong. They do hold it well. It isn't going to fall off, which is a plus. There are some cheap cases, like some cheap knockoff cases like this, where the magnets in the back, they just aren't very strong. And then you run into the issue with it falling off all the time. Either that or it just doesn't, you know, seat well inside. And this one does. You can see the cutout is perfect for it. Um, Everything is just real nice. It opens super easy. And it's got the little trifold here. And as you open it, it wakes up. As you close it, it goes to sleep, which is super cool. And we love that. So basically with the mini, you're just looking at these two orientations. You're looking at this one, which is going to be more of like you're doing some work. If you want to get a Bluetooth keyboard, things like that. And then you have this orientation here where like you're watching videos and things like that. It is a mini, so there isn't going to be a whole lot more we can do. Um, I wish that they would have made a magic keyboard for this. I think that it would have been okay as far as size goes, but they did not. And so this is probably the best thing we got. The white, I was a little worried about it getting dirty, but as you can see, it's not, it's made out of this real nice material and it doesn't seem like it's going to. It does have this cool little Apple logo too which is really nice and it just everything's really nice with it you can hear the snap as it closes because there is a magnet right here that just kind of grabs on and easy to go that's it if you want to use it like this you can just fold it backwards you got it in that orientation there's this nice felt on the inside which is going to protect the screen and i do have a screen protector on here already so i'm not too worried about that anyways but yeah, the magnets stick to the back just as good. You can see how strong that magnet is right there. It's pretty strong. It's not going to just fall down. And so it's going to stick while you're holding it like this. And I really like that. Um, there's a lot of cases out there that you can fold them back, but they don't stick. Or that they have the little flap. A lot of people are complaining because there isn't like a, a flap over here for the pencil. Personally, I'm not into that. And the reason why is because... Yeah, you can have the Apple Pencil on here, right? This is where your Apple Pencil sits. 
And if you have the flap over top of it, that's fine. But when you want to peel it off and you want to flip it into this orientation, like this, this way, you have a flap sitting at the top. And a lot of people don't think about that. And it might not bother some people, but that would bother the living crap out of me. So I am very glad that Apple did not do that. If that's something that you're interested in, there are cases out there like that. But this is probably the cleanest, nicest case that you're going to get for your Apple. Um, <clears throat> if you guys like this video, make sure to mash the like button. We're going to have a lot more product tech reviews coming out. We did get delayed on the uh, DJI drone. Uh, the shipping got delayed on it, which is... Who knows? With, with today, everything seems to be getting delayed in shipping. But the shipping got delayed. If the product comes tomorrow, I will do the review tomorrow. So stay on the look for that. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. We will see you in the next video. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe. Later, guys. Yeah.